Hello and welcome to the Rugby Hive. I'm Dallin Stanford, World Rugby Commentator. And seeing as the Rugby Hive is brought to you by the legends at Wintergreen, we thought we'd bring you a special guest, Wintergreen Ambassador and USA Eagles Fly in 15s and 7s, Nini Persinger. Welcome to the show. Hi. <laughs> well, let's start right at the beginning. How old were you when you found or started rugby and how did that opportunity come about? I was 15, actually, and I was swimming pretty seriously, actually, at the time. And the place where I used to swim at right outside is where our home boys team used to play. And my mom was the coach, and she told me, like, I don't want to see you out there playing with them. Like, I want you to, like, keep focusing on swimming. Um, But she was the coach, so she had multiple practices. She kind of had to run. And I was in the first group, so after I would get done with my swim practice, I would go sneak outside and play with the boys until she got done with her other two practices, and I I was, like, hooked almost instantly. (laughs) That is so amazing. Now, give us the backstory. What did your mom say when she found out you were playing rugby? And then, of course, come years later, and you represent your country now. Yeah, she – well, not that she didn't think that I – could play rugby she just thought I could excel a little bit better in swimming because I was kind of good at it and she just said okay well you can just have fun with it like go play with the boys like it'll keep your fitness up for swimming it was kind of just like something fun to do outside of the pool and then when it kind of got serious like because I was going to college for swimming and then all of a sudden went to college for rugby and she was like wait okay you are serious you want to play this game? So like she supported me after that, but she did not think I was serious about it. <laughs> Nini, that's a fascinating story. And I really love the background of how people focus on a different sport initially and then find rugby as well. Now, can you tell us, do you remember your first ever rugby game? Yes, I remember it was absolutely freezing. Like there was still like ice crystals kind of on top of the grass. It was so cold. I remember like it was all, like, I think it was all of our first game and they told me that I was going to be the kicker for the game. I had never dropped kick before. I had never done anything like that. And so I just practiced a couple times like during warm up. And I'm the first one was not pretty, but I did end up making my first conversion in that game. It was straight on, but I was so excited, but it was so cold. Oh, that is absolutely brilliant. And then, you know, outside of playing the actual sport, what do you love about the game of rugby? Oh, it definitely has to be the culture and like the friendships that you get off the field. Um, with your teammates like you're all fighting together you're all hurting together you're all doing the Broncos together you're doing the weights together it's like you're literally all just kind of suffering together and it just brings you so much closer and friends that I've had since high school playing rugby like I still talk to like on weekly basis it's like you're just battling together and then afterwards you're just like friends and like you find the best humans are rugby players You've summed it up so well. I'm going to use that. The best humans. Exactly. Yeah, it's true. It's such, a bri- such a brilliant community. Mm-hmm. And then let's go into some of your highlights briefly. Sevens or 15s or both. You know, give us some of your favorite moments. Well, a highlight for sevens is just being able like, to play at all for um, the sevens team. We were in Kitakishu, Japan, and you're in the tunnel and, and you're just waiting. And you can't really see what's in front of you. And you've never been to a tournament, but all of a sudden you come out to the like you come out of the tunnel and there's just like this huge field, like all the fans are there. And it's just so surreal because like, it's, it's literally nothing you've ever like experienced before. But 15 is definitely my favorite highlight is the Baba, uh, the barbarians game. We had an amazing team try. I think we had like four or five different teammates touch the ball and then I got to finish it. But that was probably the best, like my favorite highlight was that team try. Electric, electric indeed. And then let's talk about some of the coaches or people that influenced your career. Are there folks that, you know, that guided you and that you're grateful for that you want to give a, give a mention to? I mean, of course, my mom and dad have made me like the person that I am today, but I would not be a rugby player without Billy Nichols from Lindenwood. He 100%, he's the one who grabbed me from swimming and put me into rugby. He said, this, I think you could really excel at this. At, the po- at that time, I couldn't even left-hand pass correctly. I was kind of spinning it backwards instead of spinning it the correct way. <laughs> and he was like come, like, come to Lindenwood. And he did. He, like, on my off days, when I didn't have, like, class, he made me come up to the field and he would help me kick. He would... Like he fixed my left hand pass, like for sure. Billy is definitely committed to his team to make them get better. 
Oh, that's so great. I played once with him and uh, just such a great character, brilliant player as he well. Is. And it sounds like his coaching is even, even better than he played, which is hard to believe. <laughs> <Yeah>. Yes. <laughs> uh, let's go across. What does it mean now to be an ambassador for Wintergreen? Well, mostly like when we're training, we're on and off, like we're back to back days, like just going, 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 trying to perform. And so being able to be a winter green ambassador, I kind of get to step up my um, recovery game on the other side of it. And just being able to recover fully more than what I was beforehand, um, to just kind of be able to perform on a day to day basis. And do you have a favorite product for us? Oh, it's really hard. The magnesium lotion, I probably put on like regular lotion every day. Um, but the muscle warm up um, is something I definitely use on my hamstrings to start before practice. <laughs> oh, you, you're going to need it for a while. Believe me, as a retired rugby player, the hamstrings are still tight from all those years of doing the Broncos. They always and the different are. Tests. They're the last thing to get warm up. My coach calls me a classic car. Cause it takes me a bit to get going. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to use that. I've got to use that in the commentary next time you're playing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, listen, we want to thank you so much for popping on. So great to hear a bit about your background. Fascinating story indeed. And, and uh, it's wonderful that you're promoting the women's game around the world. And of course, we wish you all the best for the upcoming international games and tournaments. Thank you.